What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It is 9 o'clock, North Bedhead right now. Uh, I'm just gonna walk you guys through a little morning routine. I've been a little sick this week, so I haven't really done much when it comes to gym. I haven't really been eating healthy. Um, but today, feeling a lot better. I'm still a little congested, but I'm feeling better. So today, I'll walk you through my little morning routine, getting back to the grind. So, 9 o'clock, let's get up, make the bed, and go take a shower. Ugh. One of my absolute most favorite things, and you guys are gonna agree with this, you guys know when you wake up and you must have slept good last night where you barely even moved and the bed was basically already made. That's a W. First things first, we're gonna get hydrated for the day, especially since I've been sick this past week. Last week, I was like pretty down bad. I don't know what was happening, but I went to the gym twice and I almost passed out at the gym <laughs> two days in a row. Literally, it was like one set in. So I don't know what was up with me, why I was so out of it last week, but I'm feeling a lot better this week, but I gotta stay on top of it, guys. So let's go take a shower. Okay, call me crazy, but I keep seeing videos of people with just like ice cubes like this, or it's like a legit product. And they say, because I don't know if you guys have this, I think every human has this, but my face is always kind of puffy the first hour when I wake up. And I'm pretty sure it's just like naturally, like everyone has that. But they say if you rub something cold on your face, I just finished my shower with a cold, like little two minute shower. So what I do is I start hot, get everything done, wash my hair, body. The last two minutes, like I always say in my video, that's when I go cold. But I feel like that's just not enough. And they say it's sneaky for your jawline. So, we can give this a try. Every time I do this, I find that it actually works. It could be I'm crazy and it might not actually work, but I don't know, I feel like it actually works. First time you do it, it kind of sucks though, not gonna lie. It's rubbing an ice cube on your face, not exactly the most comfortable thing. Actually kind of nice though, at the same time. It's kind of like that pain that like, it's like bad pain at first, and then right after you're like, oh, okay, it's kind of nice. Where I get the most puffy is under my eyes like this. My face is numb now, so that should work. <laughs> I don't know if that actually works. I feel like for me it works. So if you guys feel like you guys are puffy in the morning, rub an ice cube on your face for like a minute, minute and a half. Before I shave, I'm going to show you guys the products that I use for my hair when I wash my hair. Hold up. So products that I use for my hair, I use Curl Wow Shampoo and the Curl Wow Conditioner. And I've noticed, I'm also in Florida, so when I'm in Florida, my hair curls up way more than when I'm in Ohio because of the humidity. But I have noticed that my hair is super long right now, but this stuff is curling it up so much that it doesn't look as long as it actually is because look at this. That's past my nose. My hair is legit almost to my mouth. <laughs> so. This is some really good stuff right here. I love this stuff. And it's super cheap too. I think like each bottle of this is like less than $20. So like really good product. Not that expensive either. Pretty awesome. All right, believe it or not, I do grow facial hair. Last year I went through a phase where I grew out facial hair for, I don't know, maybe like a week, like week-ish, maybe a couple more days a week. And I was like able to like pull it down. Always going to bars and then thinking I'm like 17 years old. So I feel like last year it was like my little rebel phase where I was like, I'm gonna grow out this beard, everyone's gonna think I look way older, and basically, it just did not look good, it looked dirty. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be able to pull off a good, solid, clean beard. Cause it just doesn't come in right for me. I have like some patchy socks, and I don't think there's really anything I can do about that besides just keep shaving every single day. I wanna be that dad at like my kids' football, soccer, basketball, volleyball, whatever game. And I'm gonna have, you know, a little clean cut, some curls on the top, and just a little dad facial hair, you know what I'm saying? So I had a bodybuilding organization.
Nation, OCB Dayton, hit me up last week, and you guys know I'm from Dayton, Ohio, and it's a bodybuilding show in my hometown. They hit me up the other day, asked if I was going to be competing in it. I think it's like July 13th, so still a little while away. I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm just going to come in with the exact same package, and I'm not going to be happy. And well, I, I'm like I'm gonna be happy with my physique, but it's not gonna be the physique that the judges are looking for. And then my mental clarity is gonna be all off again. If you guys know I did three shows last year. I love bodybuilding. I love the process of bodybuilding the most. But sadly, my goal, looking like Zac Efron, is just not the dream look anymore for bodybuilding. There's no like I feel like organization. There's no class that likes that look anymore. Now it's all just like mass, mass, mass. So I don't ever really want to look like a bodybuilder. I don't want to train like a bodybuilder, but I want to look like Zac Efron. I need more time to grow and just, you know, I don't have to do a prep right now. I feel like I do a prep, I'll be sacrificing a year that I can put on some good quality muscle and feel good and just live life. Because if you guys do a show, you basically have to put everything on hold. So. As of right now, I don't think I'm going to do it. Straight up, I usually brush my teeth first thing in the morning. I feel kind of gross I'm just now doing it. <laughs> Gotta put a little bit of curl spray in. This is the Curl Wow Shook Spray. I really, really, really like the stuff. I usually go through, honestly, this in about a month straight up. So $20 a month to have your hair look good. Sounds like a pretty freaking good deal to me, if you ask me. All right, we're gonna let that soak in. Now we're gonna make some breakfast. Topic of discussion. Should you eat in the morning or should you fast? There are pros and cons to both. Nowhere in my apartment's a little messy. I've been sick, give me a break. Breakfast, this is what we got. We have three whole eggs, two pieces of Aunt Millie's um, protein bread with some peanut butter on top. And because I was sick this week, I door dashed a ton of these Body Armor Lights. No sugar in these, and then a ton of vitamins. Plow this down real quick. Better to fast or eat in the morning. And in my opinion, it really depends on what you do for work, how you like to function. In the summer, I was landscaping. And so obviously a job like that, it's very taxing on your body. Um, it's very active. I was literally mulching all day long. So for that, I would wake up and immediately eat a massive giant breakfast. And now doing what I do, I do social media. I edit YouTube videos a lot. I work on my online fitness clients. I'm editing. You know, YouTube shorts, Instagram stuff, you guys know how it is. You guys follow me, so you guys know what I do. <laughs> Typically, I don't like to eat a huge breakfast because I don't like to be too lethargic. But, say I was landscaping right now, I would definitely eat a huge breakfast. So this breakfast right here is good for what I'm doing because it's going to give me a good amount of protein. It's not going to be insane amount of calories, so I'm not going to feel all lethargic when I'm editing and working on my online clients here in a second. But... If I was landscaping and I was about to go mulch four houses today, then I would definitely eat a massive, massive breakfast. So I feel like there's no right answer to when you should eat in the morning, but if you guys are trying to put on muscle, the most important thing is getting your protein in and fueling your body with enough food to put on muscle, which you're going to be burning a ton of calories in the gym, you're going to be breaking down your muscles, so you have to refuel them. But depending on when you do that, I feel like really just depends on how you function, totally up to you. Do you like to be fasted in the morning or do you like to you know, eat in the morning? But most importantly, what do you do for work? Do you go to school? When are you going to have time to eat again? Those are questions you have to ask yourself that I can't really answer for you guys. Sorry guys, I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to read a little bit and I'm going to get to my online fitness clients done. So I'm going to sit in this spot for about 45 minutes. Get all that done, and then I'll catch you guys in a little bit to put on the outfit of the day. Because I know, I know you guys are waiting for that. <laughs> catch you in a little bit.
Okay, we're back. We're about to go to the gym. This is gonna be my first real workout, honestly, in a minute. <laughs> a fat, fat, fat minute. So like I said, I haven't worked out since last week when I started to feel really, really crappy. So I'm gonna do a real light push day today. I'm probably gonna do no free weights. I'm only gonna do some machine presses, some machine flies, some tricep extensions, and that is completely it. All right, let me show you guys the fit real quick. All right, I have to like scream because I'm all the way over here. Fit check, we got the Gymshark um, orange, I don't even know, they're kind of like basketball shorts. I really like them, they're kind of thick, but also like five inch too, so shows off the legs. We got the Under Armour gray compression shirt, got some white socks on. Shoe game, we're just going with the New Balance, kind of matches the shorts pretty good, so nice. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. I got a rain. I'm going to sip this on the way to the gym. Pretty basic, pretty chill. I feel like your morning is your most important part of the day. So make sure you are either feeling up, waking up early, doing something you love, hitting the gym, just something to get your body and your mind working. So for me, I like to take a cold shower. I like to read. And then now we're going to the gym. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all being here. I love you guys so much. I've been sick, so I just wanted to come back with a little chill video. Um, just put some positive vibes out there. Just get a little quick video up, and I'm going to go hit the gym, and I will see you guys later.